Hey guys, what's going on? Bryce back here with Nightlife Kennel. Today I'm going to take a little bit of time to go through the gear that I use on a nightly basis whenever I'm out in the woods coon hunting. All the things that you see here have been tested. They've been put through the toughest of conditions and they have withheld and met and exceeded all expectations of mine, which is why I use it. You guys know that I hunt hard. You know that I expect the most out of my equipment. So if you guys see that I'm using it, hopefully you'll be able to trust it it might lead you guys to try out one of these products if you've been considering it. So we're going to start from the foot all the way up to the head. And we're going to go through everything that makes a good night of hunting for myself in the woods. We're going to start out with these Dan's bootstraps, guys. These run about $5. Go right around the ankle inside your boot. And they keep your pants from riding up and they keep your socks from falling down. Those are two of my biggest pet peeves when I'm hunting. If my feet aren't comfortable, I'm not comfortable. $5 solution right here solves all of those issues and I always keep an extra set in the truck in case I get to the woods and I forget these at home. These are a must have. I'm going to move on into the boots here guys. My boot of choice is the Dan's Frogger paired with the Brush Buster Chap. Guys, I put these boots to the absolute test and they withstand, they withhold. This is my second set of this exact combo, the Frogger boot with the Brush Buster Chap. The first set that I had lasted almost three years, and the only reason I got a new set was because I wore the soles off the bottom of the boots and was having a hard time getting traction up in some of the steep hills down here in southern Indiana. Another reason that I like these boots, and that I like Dan's in general, is for their warranty. Guys, if there's an issue with any of your boots, get a hold of Dan's or any of their other products. Go ahead and get a hold of Dan's, tell them what it is, send it in. They'll try to fix it. If they can't fix it, they'll replace it. Dan stands behind their products and if you ever do have an issue with a seam ripping in your boots or your chaps, get a hold of Dan's. They'll take care of you. Good people to work with. Moving on up on the cool nights, I use my Dan's hoodie with the uh, briar proof sleeves. Wearing this hoodie Compiled with my vest that I use, keeps my full upper body briar proof in the winter, lets you move through those thickets nice and easy, and it keeps you warm while doing so. Now I'm going to move on in to my vest that I use every night. Guys, this vest uh, is a 100% one off, one of a kind vest. I bought all of the components for this vest off of Amazon and I made it myself. I'll put it on, go through it with you guys and show you what all fits in this little vest. All right guys, so here you see it. This is my vest. This is a Molly vest. Uh, a lot of the military and law enforcement guys have switched to this style of vest simply for the fact that you can buy all of these different compartments for it and you can attach it however you need to on this vest. Up top, I've got my Dogtra system. This is the receiver that Bluetooth to your phone and links up to your collar. Next to that I have my leather strap. Guys, this is just an old leather leash on a carabiner which hooks right up here. I use this whenever I need minor corrections for my dogs. It does not harm the dog, but it does let them know that you're being serious and you're being stern and that the action that they just performed is not acceptable. Over here, I've got my stopwatch, my competitions. Whenever you're the judge, or even if you're just participating in the competition, you always need to know how long it's been since your dog's been struck, how long the dog's been treed, or how much time is left in the hunt. This stopwatch comes in very handy. Right here is where I keep my cell phone. This is a nice, nice pouch here, keeps it nice and dry. Secure Velcro, right here, easy access whenever I'm going to look for my dog to draw my mats. Down here, I have my squalors. This is a combo squalor from Banshee Wildlife Products. Shenandoah Maxi makes these. Uh, I'm not sure if they're on the market yet or not, but I know they're supposed to be very, very soon. He gave me these to try out for you guys. I like this combo because the big one is an old, older mature coon, and the young one here is a kitten coon. I'll give you guys a little sound of what these sound like. This is the mature coon. Guys, that is a great sounding squall. The small one right here is a kitten squall. 
in the summertime and springtime right now when the kittens are getting ready to start moving and you're trying to get that sow to look, this sounds like a kitten in distress. Nine times out of 10, that sow is gonna look at you. Here's what it sounds like. Those are the squalls that I prefer to use right now. I do have a collection of other squalls, but right now these are the two that I like to have just because it's two squalls, one lanyard, two dual purposes. Moving on down here, I have my big pouch where I keep a bottle of water for myself or for the dog in those hot summer months. Always want to have some extra water with you. Inside that pouch, I also keep my lead strap. Guys, this is a custom lead strap made by Jordan Wright. She uh, is on Facebook with Hound Hunter Lanyards, I believe is the name of her page. She goes through and makes paracord handles, chain ends with a nice carabiner on the end of it. This right here is the best lead that I have taken to the woods. I use it every night. It's a good tree strap. It's solid. It ain't going to break on you. Right here, this is a good lead. I've got another pouch down here. Now the big compartment in this one, I use to keep my wallet, all of my personal information, my hunting licenses, all that stuff that you need to have on you whenever you're in the woods. Keep it nice and secure so it doesn't fall out of your pockets. Right there in front of you, easy access. In the front, there's a small pocket. This is where I keep my pens, pencils, and my scorecards for competition hunts. And when I'm pleasure hunting, this is where the keys to my ranger go. Keeps everything locked up nice and secure. Like, like I said, right in front of you, easy access. Over here, I've got my FLIR. This is my Scout 240. In the summertime, whenever you're looking for that coon up in the trees, you can't exactly see through the leaves. This thermal imager right here does a great job of pointing those coon out, sourcing the heat. It gives you an idea where to look, and this thing has saved me at many a times in competition hunts, and I've won a lot of hunts because of this right here. Now, <clears throat> speaking of the competition hunts, this is only legal to use in PKC hunts. It is not legal to use in UKC. So keep that in mind if you're going to a UKC hunt and you have a FLIR, Keep it in the truck. You're not going to be able to use it in the hunt. Last but not least, I keep a white sport dog beacon on a carabiner right here on the front of my chest. Now this here is dual purpose. Number one, if I am near a busy road and I have to walk down that road and there's a car coming, I don't want to have my lamp on or my coon light while they're coming down the road at me. <clears throat> Sometimes I can blind them. I don't know how you guys feel whenever cars with their high headlights come at you. It's hard to see. So I like to turn that light on as low as possible. And then I turn on my sport dog beacon light. It sits there and flashes. It lets those cars come and know that I'm on the side of the road. And it keeps me safe and keeps them aware of where I am. Number two, I use this if I forget my other collar, which I keep a green sport dog beacon on. If I know that I'm turning the dog loose near a road that's heavily occupied and highly traveled, I put this extra collar on my dogs. I don't always run the sport dog beacon. A lot of times I run down in the bottoms where there are no roads. There, there is nowhere for my dog to go to become uh, interactive with roads and vehicles, so I don't run it. But if I know I'm going to be there, I slip this collar on, I turn my sport dog on. That keeps my dog safe, lets cars know if my dog is running down the side of the road, and hopefully keeps my dog safe ultimately. But if I were to forget this, I have this light right here that I can slip off this carabiner, slip on to my dog's collar, and bam, they're safe and protected. That is all for this vest, but this is how I do like my setup. I like to have everything right here in front of me, easy access. I don't like to be fumbling around in my pockets. I don't like the thought of losing stuff out of my pockets. All these have nice zippers. They're all attached to this vest very securely. It's nice and warm in the wintertime. It is a little warm in the summer, but it's not unbearable. But guys, like I said, this vest here is how I like to hunt. It's the only thing that I found that keeps everything where I want it at one time. I think I have about $125 in this vest between the vest and all of the different attachments that I uh, bought separately and put on it. But it's well worth it to me. I've been using this setup now for over two years. It hasn't let me down and it seems to be the best thing to work for me. Moving on next. <clears throat> 
my lights that I like to use. Right now, my go-to light is the Sunspot Extreme Rage. Guys, this right here is a nice, lightweight light. The thing that I like most about it is that the switch is up on the head. Whenever you're wearing a hoodie and you have to have your hood up, keep your ears warm, this switch is right here on the top. You can wear your hood. You don't have to fumble through there to get to the back to get to your switch. This right here has two walk lights, three main beams, a low, medium, and a high. It also has a low red, a high red, a low amber, and a high amber. Amber is my favorite color to walk with. It doesn't reflect off the leaves and the twigs and the woods as much. Also, in the summertime, it keeps the bugs away. So I'm a big fan of the amber. I won't use a light unless it does have an amber. And the Sunspot Extreme Rage right now is my go-to. Now, I always keep a second light in the truck at all times. If for some reason my first light were to go dead or it breaks, i got to have a backup. Number two, if I have somebody who's going hunting with me, they forget their light, theirs isn't working, there you go. There's their light. And now the most important reason that I like to keep a light in my truck is I've had this happen a couple times. I get in a hairy situation. I need some help. I have to call somebody to come get me or my dog is stuck. I need an extra set of hands. So what I can do is I can call somebody. I can call a buddy and tell them, hey, my truck is at X location. It's unlocked. Get in the back. Get you the light. They can use, then use that light to come and help me out in the woods. I don't know if you guys have ever been through the woods without a light at night. You're trying to hold it in your hand. You're sitting there trying to talk and figure things out. It's much easier if the person coming to help you has a light on their head just like you. Very, very helpful. This light that I use as my secondary light is the Razor R3. This has, uh, like I said, the uh, walk lights, your high main beams. It has your red, your amber. It has everything you need. also has a laser on it. One thing else I forgot to mention is that the Sunspot Extreme Rage also has the laser on it, so I like to use that. Onto my collars, I use the Dogtra system. So this is the track and train collar. It has the probes for your stimulus. It has your cone. has all that good jazz on it. I have this on the Mooks collar, the easy buckle unsnap. And I also have the Mooks nameplate on there. So all of your information for your hounds is right here on the nameplate. If, any, if your dog were to end up at somebody's house, all your information is right here. They can call you. keeps your dog nice and safe. So this is everything that I use on a nightly basis to go out in the woods. All right, guys, moving on from the gear that I wear on me, I'm going to give you guys a look around uh, the setup that I used to hunt out of with my Polaris Ranger and my old dry pond box. So this right here is my Polaris Ranger. It is a 2014 900 XP, uh, always dirty. I don't hardly ever get it clean just because the very next night, I'm going to get it dirty again. I do have my dry pond box in the back. Absolutely love that box. I got a full soft cab on it, a winch, a small light bar in the front. It's on a two inch lift. Uh, whenever I do hunt the bottoms that have a lot of water in them, I like to keep the floorboards out of the water. I've got a full 50 inch light bar on the back and I do have skid plates under the whole thing uh, just for those rough conditions. This is what I like to hunt out of. I like this dry pond box. It's got the slide vents on the side, on the front. It's got them on the rear as well. And it has the full bottom storage, which I'm a big fan of. I don't really like top storage as much, but the bottom storage here has everything that I need whenever I go coon hunting. So inside of this, I keep my Ruger 1022 rifle. I keep several bottles of water for myself, for my dogs. Toilet paper, must have there. Uh, my knife, my knife sharpener, my coon tail stripper, some gloves. Those are helpful in many different situations. Whether it's your dogs bleeding or you're trying to skin a coon, I like to have some gloves on me there. Keep extra rounds of 22s. I keep a little screwdriver there in case my gun does jam. I keep blue coat if my dog gets a cut on him while I'm out hunting. I can spray that on them real quick. It's a disinfectant and also a protectant. So I like to use that. And then if you guys uh, have ever seen the video where Pig is stuck in a ditch, this is another reason I keep a shovel in my dog box in case I thought I was going to have to use it to dig him out of that ditch that night. But thank goodness I didn't. But I have been in some situations where this shovel has came in handy. I also keep some nightlife business cards and stickers magnets decals in there 
If you guys run into me in a hunt and you guys are looking for the hookup on a sticker or a magnet, get a hold of me and I'll take care of you. So this is the, uh, like I said, the old dry pond dog box and my 2014 Polaris Ranger that I hunt out of. It's the way that I prefer to hunt. I like to use it, especially when I'm hunting young dogs. You can go through and do a lot of quick training with the dog. You can get to them faster. You can uh, move from place to place if the coon aren't moving in one area. This right here is just a good all-around setup. And if you guys are looking for a good side-by-side, -side, I highly recommend the Polaris Ranger. So there you have it, guys. That is everything that I use on a nightly basis whenever I'm going to the woods with my hounds for myself as far as what I wear and as far as my transportation and my dog box setup. This is my go-to. This is what I found to work for me, and hopefully it'll work for you. A couple things before we get off here, guys. Remember that um, all this Dan's products can be purchased on nightlifekennel.com. Don't forget to use promo code BRYCE5 to get 5% off of your entire order. Also, the Sport Dog Beacons can be found on nightlifekennel.com, so be sure to check that out if you're in the market for one of those. If you would, go over to another YouTube channel for my buddies at 812 Outdoors. I am supporting them wearing their hat. These are a couple good buddies of mine that take a lot of pride in the filming that they do. They hunt deer, turkey, waterfowl, you name it, they hunt it, they film it. They have some good videos online, so head over and check them out at 812 Outdoors. Guys, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If there's anything that you'd like to see another review on, leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, if you didn't like this video, leave a comment. We like to hear from you guys, and we always try to give you guys the best content that we can. So, until next time, guys, free one for us. We appreciate you.